Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Samar Abu Sardane and I will be teaching you today reading comprehension Q skills for success level 4 unit 7 Is discovery always a good thing? Before moving on to the reading section let's discuss the following questions Question 1 What discoveries have you heard about in recent years? Which discovery did you find the most exciting? Now answers may vary of course. A possible answer is that scientists recently discovered a way to clone cows. That's exciting because there are hungry people in the world who could eat meat from these cows. Question 2. Do you think money should be spent on exploration or is it better spent on other things? Possible answer. It's important to spend money on exploration especially in the fields of science and medicine. Question 3. Look at the photo. What can be discovered by deep sea exploration underwater? Do you think it is important to make new discoveries? A possible answer. I think that new species can be discovered by deep sea exploration. It is important to make new discoveries in order to understand the world around us. Alright, moving on to page 164. In activity A, after previewing the reading, which means to read the title and look at the pictures, the article reports on the tribe's first contact with the civilized world. List three ways the tribe's way of life might differ from that of modern civilization. Now, the answer will vary. We have more than three ways, of course. For example, the tribe may live far away from other people or they probably don't have cell phones or computers, they probably don't have electricity and they don't have cars. Next important vocabulary to focus on and we'll come to the vocabulary activity after the reading. Adopt, cite, confirm, conflict deter, dilemma, fatal, genuinely, hostile, inevitable, moral, and motive. Moving on to the reading section, a tribe is discovered, which is in the Amazonian rainforest. It's like a scene from a novel, but this time it's for real. Photographed from a passing airplane, Colorful figures can be seen in a clearing in the Amazonian rainforest. Two men with bows and arrows stand ready to fire at the overhead threat. They are painted bright orange with paint made from an Amazonian tree. Just feet behind them, a figure painted black also stares up into the sky. Beyond them, the entire village is coming to life. Other tribesmen emerge from traditional thatched longhouses and prepare to fight. While young children run for safety, as the small aircraft continues to circle above, images of the village are recorded and the tribe's existence is confirmed to the outside world. The group lives in six huts in the acre region of the Brazilian rainforest on the Brazil-Peru border and have had no known contact with the civilized world. The body language of the Eco tribe suggests that they have a way of life worth defending. From the images on the internet last week, all of them, adults and children alike, look fit and healthy. They have none of the material possessions of the developed world, but they appear to be content without them. We did the overfly to show their houses, to show they are there, to show they exist, said Jose Carlos Dos Reyes Morales Jr an uncontacted tribes expert who works for the Brazilian government's Indian Affairs Department. This is very important because there are some who doubt their existence. However, since the pictures have been published and because more people are now aware of the village's existence, a debate has begun about new risks and dangers to the tribe. How long will it be before wealthy adventurers and tourists go in search of a unique Amazonian experience? 
How long will it be before illegal loggers attempt to clear them of their land to cut down valuable lumber trees? Their discovery poses a moral dilemma for the authorities. Should the Aku tribe be left alone to continue their contented lifestyle for as long as they can, or should contact be forced by well intentioned scientists to prepare the uncontacted tribe for its inevitable first encounter with the 21st century? Dr. Nicole Burke, a Glasgow University anthropo anthropologist who has studied Amazonian culture, says that views are divided even among experts. Some will say leave them untouched, others, probably the majority, will say more contact is inevitable, so the best thing you can hope for is managed contact. Managed contact means where you send an appropriate person to prepare the tribe for what might happen. At least then the first outsiders they meet are decent or good people. It's important to calculate how many tribes of uncontacted people survive in the world's jungles. The best guess of experts is that around 100 small groups remain mostly in the Amazonian rainforest an area the size of Western Europe. Other isolated groups are also believed to exist in remote areas of heavily forested islands, such as Papua New Guinea. How many of these tribes are genuinely unaware of the modern world is also unknown. What is certain though is that contact almost always ends in disaster. A decade ago, first contact was made with the Murunahua pronounced mu ru nau hu nau -hu, group that was living in an area in the Peruvian jungle about 100 strong they were surviving well until illegal loggers came in search of mahogany mahogany is a highly valued wood David Hill a researcher for Survival International a global charity that campaigns for the rights of threatened indigenous people has seen the consequences. They were forcibly contacted by illegal loggers who shoot to kill. Since then, 50% of them have died. Some were shot, but most died from diseases that were introduced to them. Simply viruses such as the flu, which Westerners have natural defenses against, can prove fatal to tribes that have always lived in isolation. Last year, Hill traveled to Peru to interview the remaining members of the tribe. One survivor, George, told him, When the loggers made contact with us, we came out of the rainforest. That was when the disease began. Half of us died. My aunt died. My nephew died. Half of my people died. The group now lives in a more conventional village and has adopted Western style, clothing, and a money-based economy. However, other Morunaho groups still exist and still live in traditional communities. Deep in the forest, they don't seem to want to be found. What has happened, says Hill, is they have moved even deeper into the forest. Hill is delighted that last week's image of the Acre tribe made global headlines. It puts pressure on governments to stop the logging, he said. I have no doubt that the aim of the flight was right. It was designed to discover where the uncontacted tribes are living, how many of them there are, and how they are living. If you don't know where they are, then you can't protect them as well. However, he firmly, he firmly recommends leaving the Echo tribe on its own. We would warn strongly against further contact. Hell said, citing the proven, the proven threat of disease. One practical way of protecting the tribes is to limit the activities of the loggers. The Brazilian government has already closed down 28 illegal sawmills in Aco State. Another is to deter curious, uh, curious tourists. Most people are discouraged by the difficulty of reaching an area like this. However, in places like the highlands of West Papua, travelers can already pay $8,000 to be led into the jungles for first contact experiences. Dr. Barke is saddened by this. You get the, curio uh, the cu uh, curiosity factor and you want your picture taken with the tribesmen 
so you can tell your friends at home or post it on your blog. People don't think about long-term impact on these communities. However, she believes that contact with friendly outsiders is preferable to conflict with possible hostile commercial interests. She thinks the time may be close when uncontacted groups have to be gently brought into the modern age. It would be better if first contact came from the appropriate people with the right mo uh, mo motives and the right medical support who could prepare them for the future and what might happen. All right, moving on to the vocabulary section. Now, after reading this except, we'll move right away to the definitions of the new terms. Starting with one, inevitable, which means an adjective and cannot be avoided or prevented. To deter, aver, to discourage someone from doing something. Three, motives, noun, purpose or reason for doing something. Four, sight, verb, to mention something as a reason or example. Five, moral, adjective, involving right and wrong behavior. Six, dilemma, noun, a situation in which you have to make a very difficult choice. Seven, genuinely, Adverb means really or truly. 8. Adopt verb to start to use a particular method or show a particular attitude. 9. Confirm verb to show that something is definitely true or correct. 10. Fatal adjective causing or ending in death. 11 hostile adjective very unfriendly ready to argue or fight and finally 12 conflict a noun a situation that involves a serious disagreement moving on to activity d answer these questions question one who are the acre people the Aka people are a tribe in the Amazonian rainforest who were recently discovered. Question 2. How do they live? They live in huts without material possessions, but they are fit and healthy. Question 3. Why are they in the news? They were recently discovered by the outside world. 4. Why, uh, sorry. Why did the author give the example of the Murunawa people? The Murunawa people were another tribe that was discovered. What happened to the Murunawa people could happen to the Aka. 5. What two actions has the Brazilian government taken to protect the Aka? It has closed down illegal sawmills in the Aka state and discouraged tourism in that area. 6. Who is Nicole Burquet? Nicole Burquet is a Glasgow University anthropologist who has studied Amazonian cultures. And finally, question seven, who is David Hill? David Hill is a researcher for Survival International, a global charity that campaigns for the rights of threatened indigenous people. Moving on to activity E, circle the correct answer, one. What was the Brazilian government's purpose in photographing the acre people? The answer is C. They wanted to show that the tribe really exist, existed. Two. Why were the tribesmen prepared to fight when they saw the plane? The answer is B. They thought they were being attacked. Three. What can be inferred about the trap from the photographs on the internet? The answer is C. They are satisfied with their existence. 4. Tourists and loggers are two exa examples of people who A. Are a threat to the tribe. 5. What do the remaining uncontacted tribes have in common? A. They live in forests. 6. The Murnawa people's troubles began because 
B. They live near valuable trees. 7. What happened to the Moronawa group after they were forcibly contacted? A. Half of them died mostly from illness. 8. While some Moronawa live in a conventional village, other groups C. Moved farther into the forest. And 9. Why is David Hill delighted that the Echo tribe has been in the news? B. It may influence the actions of the government. Moving on to activity F. Write the name of the person or group next to the statement they might make. Now, one. We want all the people of Brazil to live well, including the acre. This is the government authority. Two, the government needs to make sure that the tribe is protected. David, help. Three, hey, it's okay. I'm not sick or anything, and I won't hurt anybody. This is what a tourist might say for all i want is the wood they can have the rest of the forest this is what a logger might say a woodcutter five leave us alone what the acre people might say and six we need to have medical personnel ready when we contact them nicole berkey moving on to activity g Now, the article presents a problem and two possible solutions. Use information from the article to answer these questions. Question 1. What is the problem or moral dilemma that the authorities face? The problem is whether to make contact with the acre people or leave them alone. 2. What is David Hill's recommendation? David Hill recommends leaving them alone. Three. What is Nicole Berkey's recommendation? Nicole Berkey recommends making contact with them using specially trained people. Four, in the chart below, list the main benefits and the main risk of David Hill's recommendation. Then do the same for Nicole Berkey's recommendation. This is the benefit of what David Hill recommended and the risk for that. And for Nicole Berkey's as well. So. For David Hill's recommendation, the benefit is that the acre can live like they always have. They will be protected against disease by not having contact with other people. But the risk? Loggers or tourists could find them and expose them to disease that could be fatal. And the benefit of Nicole Berkey's recommendation? The acre could be better protected from accident accidental exposure to disease and they could be given vaccines to prevent them from becoming sick and the risk is that their way of life could disappear all right moving on to the reading scale on page 171 understanding the purpose of coded speech when reading a text it's important to understand the purpose of a quotation Quotations may be used to state facts or give opinions. Facts are statements that can be proved or disproved. They may, for example, describe actions or give explanations. In contrast, opinions offer personal per uh, preferences or judgments. They can illustrate different sides of an argument. Examples. Example of a fact. They were forcibly contacted by illegal loggers who shoot to kill. Since then, 50% of them have died. An example of an opinion, we would warn strongly against further contact. Next, in activity A, you need to scan reading one and find the quotations from Nicole Burkay and David Hill, what they said. Label them in B for Nicole Burkay and David Hill, DH for David Hill. Now, Burkay's and Hill's comments sum up two different sides of the moral dilemma. Which of the two experts is in favor of more contact with the tribe? 
It's Nicole Burke. Moving on to activity C. Read these quotations from the reading. Write F if it's a fact or O if it's an opinion. One. We did the overfly to show their houses, to show they are there, to show they exist. This is very important because there are some who doubt their existence, which is a fact. So, the first statement is a fact. Two, so the best thing you can hope for is manage contact, where you send an appropriate person to prepare the tribe for what might happen. This is an opinion. Oh, three. When the loggers made contact with us, we came out of the rainforest. That was when the disease began. Half began. Half of us died. F. Fact. For what has happened is they have moved even deeper into, into the forest. F. Fact. Five. I have no doubt that the aim of the flight was right. O. Opinion. Six. It's, which means the overflight was designed to discover where the uncontacted tribes are living, how many of them there are, and how they are, which is F fact. 7. You get the curiosity factor, and you want your picture taken with the tribesmen, so you can tell your friends at home or post it on your blog. O opinion. 8. It would be better if first contact came from the appropriate people with the right motives and the right medical support who could prepare them for the future and what might happen which is O opinion all right moving on to reading two Alaska's pebble mine minerals versus nature now firstly in the preview section you need to preview the reading by reading the title and the first paragraph so why do you think some people do not want the pebble mine project why do you think other people are in favor of it discuss your opinion with your classmates of course it depends on your opinion so the answer may vary for example i think people are nervous about having a mine in a place where people depend on nature so much other people want the mine so that they can make money from the minerals there. Moving on to the important vocabulary in the reading. We'll move to the vocabulary exercise after the reading. Abundance, alliance, ample, controversial, dread, extensive, intervene, overwhelmingly, preliminary, significant, sustainable, unduly. Moving on to the reading section. Alaska's Pebble Mine, Minerals versus Nature. Alaska's Bristol Bay region is located on the Bering Sea in the state's southwest corner. It is rich with large reserves of nature resor uh, natural resources. One of those resources, the world's largest sockeye salmon fishery which generates an estimated 1.5 billion annually. The thousands of acres of surrounding wetlands, ponds and lakes are treasured because there isn't much untouched land left in America. Bristol Bay is also home to a large population of Alaska natives whose cultures and lifestyles revolve around the region's wildness and especially its salmon. Those are living, breathing resources of Bristol Bay and then there are the inorganic resources like oil and gas and mineral deposits. These are not yet fully explored, but they represent much more wealth than Alaska is receiving now. A deposit of gold, molybdenum, molybdenum and copper has been discovered in Bristol Bay. In fact, it is the largest known and tapped copper deposit in the world. It's known as the Pebble Prospect. A Canadian company called Northern Dynasty Minerals started exploring the area in 2000. The corporation's plans to build a Pebble Mine have yet to progress much beyond the idea stage. The Pebble Mine hasn't been built yet because the process of getting state and federal permits 
for a project of this size is long. The project is also highly controversial. The mine pits two of Alaska's biggest industries, fishing and mining, against each other in a classic resource war. Both are extractive, but only fishing is sustainable. Weighing, weighing gold against salmon is weighing money against nature. According to some, deciding whether to mine or to be left to Alaskans, they will feel the effects either way. The Pebble Partnership promises to create jobs and bring in revenue. The state residents should know best whether this would do more long-term good than the protection of salmon stocks and preservation of untouched land. Polls have shown that the majority of Alaskans oppose the mine. However, in 2010, concerned Alaskans decided that the federal government needed to intervene. An unlikely alliance of commercial fishermen, native tribes, and concerned citizens joined together. They decided that their best hope for stopping the pebble mine was to get the federal government to step in. The alliance petitioned the U.S. Environment Protection Agency (EPA) to conduct a preliminary investigation. It would look at the potential ecological impact of a large-scale mining operation in Bristol, uh, Bristol Bay. The agency could shut down the Pebble Mine project by determining that it would have unacceptable negative effects on the Bristol Bay watershed. In the spring of 2013, the EPA released a draft of its watershed assess assessment. It indicated that the mine would have an overwhelmingly negative impact on the Bristol Bay watershed. EPA Administration Gina McCarthy said in a statement, extensive, scient uh, extensive scientific study has given us ample reason to believe that the Pebble Mine would likely have significant and negative impacts on the Bristol Bay watershed and its abundant salmon fisheries. This process is not something the agency does very often, but Bristol Bay is an extraordinary and unique resource. It isn't surprising that companies have been fighting to mine the rich deposits of gold and copper in Bristol Bay for more than a decade. But the most recent development in the Pebble Mine story delivered a small shock. On February 28, 2014, the agency did what environmentalists hoped and what the Pebble Partnership dreaded it would. It temporarily prevented the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers from issuing from issuing any mining permits in Bristol Bay. That effectively halts the development process. However, this action is not a final decision. Northern Dynasty CEO Tom Collar said his company is not going to give up on its plan. According to the Associated Press, Collier said the EPA's actions to date have gone well outside of its normal practice, have been biased throughout and have been unduly influenced by environmental advocacy organizations. He also said that he remains confident about the future of the mine and that his company will continue to try and gain the APA's approval to move forward. If anything, this is the beginning, not the end, of the Pebble Mine controversy. According to Nature writer and longtime Alaska resident Bill Sherwanet, ultimately for Alaskans, the issue will boil down to this. Do the benefits of tapping into one of the planet's richest minerals loads outweigh the risk to one of the world's last great fisheries? All right. Now moving on to the vocabulary section. What you need to do here is as follows. Complete the sentences. With the vocabulary from reading two. Starting with number one right away. The two groups formed an alliance to find against building a new highway. Two, this is a very controversial topic and it's unlikely they can come to an agreement about what to do. Three, the discovery will be significant to the scientific community. Four, 
they were asked to intervene in the conflict to prevent matters from getting worse. 5. The levels of pollution in the area are unduly high. It's now difficult to see clearly through all the smog. 6. The type of farming destroys the land, so it's not sustainable. 7. We don't make much money, but it is ample because it covers our expenses. 8. There was abundant, abundant evidence to confirm that he had discovered a new source of energy. 9. She is overwhelmingly dependent on her husband. She can hardly make her own decisions. 10. Because I didn't study for the test, I dreaded, I dreaded finding out my score. 11. The damage from the fire was excessive, covering a large area of the forest. 12. The preliminary results from the first study show that the mine will damage the area. Moving on. To page 176 activity D circle the answer that best matches each statement 1 the purpose of the article is C to explain the controversy about extracting minerals in Bristol Bay 2 paragraph paragraphs 4 and 5 are about B who should decide about allowing mining of the resources in Bristol Bay? 3. The EPA study is discussed in paragraph 6 and 7. 2. A. Inform the reader about the results of the study. 4. In paragraph 8, the CEO of Northern Dynasty Minerals, B. Gives his opinion of the future of the mine. And 5. In paragraph 9, long-time Alaska resident Bill Sharonet is quoted to C give an opinion that Alaskans will have to make a hard decision moving on to activity E in activity E you need to read the to read the statements and write why yes if it can be inferred from the reading or n for no if it's not a correct inference write the paragraph number where you found the information to support your answer one bristol bay is important to the people of alaska which is one and it's from paragraph which is yes and it's from paragraph one two native people in bristol bay live in modern cities no and it's from paragraph one three the alliance doesn't want the mine to be built why Yes, from paragraph 5. 4. The groups in the alliance have common interests and goals. No, from paragraph 5. 5. The EPA study found a slight negative impact on the watershed in Bristol Bay. No, from paragraph 6. 6. The company that wants to build a mine agrees that the EPA should have expressed an opinion. No, from paragraph 8. 7. Environmentalists are happy with the results of the study. Yes, from paragraph 7. And 8. The controversy will be resolved soon. No, from paragraph 8. Moving on to activity F. Answer these questions. Question 1. What are the resources of Bristol Bay? Woodlands, ponds, lakes, wilderness, and sockeye salmon, and minerals, molybdenum, copper, and gold. 2. Which resources are sustainable? Salmon and the wilderness. 3. When did Northern Dynasty start exploring Bristol Bay? They started exploring the area in 2000. 4. Why hasn't the Pebble Mine been built? The process of getting local and federal permits is long and difficult. Question 5. What are the positive aspects of building the Pebble Mine? Answer. Money and creating jobs for the people of the area. 
6. What are the negative aspects of building the pebble mine? Answer. Harming the environment and not being sustainable. 7. Who asked the federal government to intervene? An alliance of commercial fishermen, native tribes, and concerned citizens. 8. What did they ask for? They asked the U.S. Environment Protection Agency, EPA, to conduct a preliminary investigation. 9. What were the findings of the study conducted by the EPA? The pebble mine would likely have significant negative impacts on the Bristol Bay watershed and its abundant salmon fisheries. Question 10. What happened in February 2014 as a result of the study? The U.S. government prevented the Army Corps from issuing mining permits in Bristol Bay. Question 11. What will the company trying to build the pebble mine do about the results? The answer. The company will keep trying to get the EPA to issue the permits to build the pebble mine. Moving on, page 178, vocabulary skill, word, roots. Many words, particularly in academic English, come from Latin roots. A root is the part of a word that contains the basic meaning of the word. Roots can be combined with prefixes and suffixes to form words and word families. For example, the Latin root dect means say or speak. It is used to form words such as contradict. We can find the root dict in all the following words, like contradict, which is a verb, to say that something that someone else has said is wrong. I'm tired of Roger. He keeps contradicting everything I say. And the word diction. Now, the way that someone says words, that news reader needs to improve his diction i can't understand a word on his new program and predict which is a verb to say something will happen in the future it is difficult to predict the weather knowing the basic meaning of common roots prefixes and suffixes will help you understand the meaning of many unfamiliar words Moving on to activity A. Here, you need to work with a partner. Study the word roots and examples in the chart below. Add two other examples from the box. Then circle the correct basic meaning. You need to use your dictionary if necessary. So, as you can see, look at the first example. The word root in the first column. The first column is the word root. The second column, its basic meaning, the meaning of the root. The third column is example words that contain the word root. And what you need to do is provide other examples that contain the same word root. For example, one, bio. You circle its meaning, which means life. Examples, biology biodiversity now examples from these words that have this root is antibiotics as you can see bio and biography also has the word root bio two gen gen which means produce circle produce examples genetics and indigenous and examples from the box generate and genus genus or genus genus yes three port which means carry example support and report examples you need to provide portable and transport four psi psi which means no examples science scientists or conscious and unconscious five scribe or script which means write examples describe description and inscribe manuscript six spec 
inspect which means look examples specimen species further examples speculate seven verse which means turn example conversion further examples reverse versatile a with or this which means see examples evidence visit further examples video vision moving on to activity B now activity B is a homework for you for next week you need to choose five words from activity A that are less familiar to you it depends write sentences that illustrate their meaning now the following are example sentences you can follow to do the homework for example we had to look at the specimen under a microscope or because she had an infection she had to take antibiotics or I try to be conscious of how my actions affect other people example three his ideas about global warming generated a passion discussion example four I speculated about why the decision was made five my wedding date is inscribed on my ring and last example she likes to buy versatile clothes that she can wear to work and on the weekends now you can follow these examples to do the homework all right that's it everyone thank you for listening and stay safe